Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to another episode of Nora's Pharmacy. Today on Nora's Pharmacy, I will be showing you what to do with those Mentats that you made last time. I will be making Berry Mentats and Grape Mentats. Berry Mentats are great for highlighting enemies. It gives them a red glow, so if you're in an area where there are a lot of hidden enemies, you'll be able to see them. And Grape Mentats increase your charisma. They give you charisma plus five and uh, plus 10% to buying or selling at vendors. If you don't want to hear me waffle on, I will put links down below to where I start doing both recipes. This pr will probably be the last episode of Nora's Pharmacy, at least for the time being. Um, I am planning on doing some scout badges, probably on Scarlet, um, and that will be a separate series. I do have some plans for Nora. I have an idea for something. I may need the help of other people with that one. Just I need some guest stars. So I will work on that as a concept um, and let you know. And obviously I will be carrying on building. Anyway, let's get to it. Absolutely, they keep the doctor away my ass. Just a lie spread by orchard lobbyists. Just here for a bit, I'll stay out of your hair. You can stay as long as you like, Solomon. Honestly, I'm really grateful for the help. Um, you don't have to stand in the naughty corner. Right, anyway, let's start. I'm going to start with berry mentats. To make merry berry mentats, you need brain fungus, firecracker berries, starlight berries, and obviously Mentats. We made 52 last time. If you watch my episode on making Mentats, you'll know that I have a good source for brain fungus. So we'll go there now. If you head over to the mire near Harper's Ferry, between this substation and the Burrows North, there is a little pool with lots of brain fungus. So here we are, it's getting dark and gloomy in the mire. We are here on the map. And it looks like... Hmm. Looks like a gulper and something else are having a fight. I think we'll try and stay out of that one. Oh, it's a gulper and an angler. Mm. My money's on the angler. Make sure you have the card green thumb on because every one you pick you will get to. I think Nora dies more than any of my other characters probably when I'm filming because... Um, I'm out collecting stuff in the wilds. Right, our next ingredient is starlight berries. And the best place to get starlight berries, or the easiest place, is our usual resource run between Slocum Joe's and Gorge Junkyard. Oh, we have 
house. Head up to this area by the railroad track. There are starlight berries scattered throughout this area. be useful if they glowed in the dark <laughs> but they don't uh, here's a plant but unfortunately there are no berries on it If you carry on up here, next to the road, and back onto the railway tracks, okay, this one. few around here. Lots of fire caps today. If you're just going to make berry mantats then um, you can obviously collect these while you're collecting the ingredients for mantats. you think you've got enough then um, I keep finding bushes without any berries on today the Bethesda gods know that I am looking for starlight berries obviously yeah it's a shame I'm not looking for fire caps today Fire caps everywhere. Quite 
often think that these are, they look similar, such as the shrubbery. Sorry, Monty Python joke coming up here. I believe there are a couple on this side of the road, so I'll quickly head down here, although it's getting difficult to spot things as it's getting dark. This one is empty again. Uh, oh dear. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have uh, more liberators. Oh, they're not in force today. Pretty much almost back at um, Slope and Joe's. We've done a big loop, and that will have to do today. I have noticed previously there are, are a few down past Point Pleasant, but they are dotted about um, all over the forest. So, although it's getting dark, our next ingredient, firecracker berries, do actually glow in the dark. So, um, I'm going to have a go at finding them now. And the place I'm going to go, it's not far from here, it is Arctos Farmer. Right. Firecracker berries do grow all over the Savage Divide and you can find them there. There are a few um, around RNG Station, but if you're looking for an easier area to collect them where they're not as disparate then Arctos Farmer is a good place to start Watch out for ghouls. I'm going to head around the back. You have to pick them quickly or they will explode and hurt you. You can 
also find a few starlight berries here sometimes as well. Just sort of zigzag up and down the hill, and I'm sure you'll find plenty. I do actually find these easier to spot at night. That should do. So now we'll head back to the pharmacy to make our berry mentats. Hi Solomon, having a break? It's getting a bit late, you might want to think about heading home. Or you can always crash upstairs. Right, to make our berry mentats, make sure you have the cards chemist. Give me a howl and if you need my services. I'm hoping you're referring to medical services there. Anyway, to make your berry mentats, make sure you have the cards super duper and chemist on to increase your yield. Note to self, newly emerged vault dwellers likely have extremely poor immune systems. Hmm. Treat with care. Right, I'm not going to use all of these Mentats because obviously I want to save some for um, my great Mentats. But we'll see how we get. I've only got 24 Starlight Berries so that should uh, probably uh, use about half. Well, it will use half of them. Don't forget to break. That's not going to work. Break from the bench to try and encourage Super Duper to um, fire. Okay. 
I usually make five. If super duper fires within the first five, I go on to ten. Otherwise, I break it at five. Well, in this instance, as I've only got six, I have a break there. Right, let's see how many we got. Got 52 berry mentats for that trip. Rumor has it that Atlas was some kind of experiment to control the weather. I can't even imagine what that could have done for us. Yeah, no more rad storms would have been nice. Although we don't want everyone too healthy or put me, put us out of business. Right. Tomorrow, I will show you how to make great mentats. And as an aside, if you do not have the recipes for any of these drugs that I'm making, they can be found around the world in um, various containers. Or if you're feeling rich, head over to the Enclave. The medical bay in the Enclave sells the recipes for all of these drugs. And if you don't know how to get into the Enclave, head over to the abandoned waste dump in the mire and follow the quest over there. So I'm back in the server and we're now going to make grape mentats. It is the next day, however, the server's logged me in at 6.20pm so I will try and be quick. The reason I did Great Mentat second is this reason. One of the ingredients is whiskey. And although whiskey can spawn as a random spawn in the world at Watoga Station, Top of the World and um, Pleasant Valley, it's random. And um, you can spend a few days going around and picking them up, but it is actually one of the most easy alcohols to make. If you don't have the fermenter and the brewing workbench, you need to do Bib's quest. I recommend doing that quest, it's great fun. Go to any railway station and look for a poster about a house party, and if you read that, it will start the quest. As you can see, I have made quite a lot of whiskey. Whiskey is really easy to make. You just require corn, razor grain and boiled water. And if you go to this area on the map, to Silver Homestead and Billings, you can get tons and tons of corn and razor grain. And the river's just here if you want to collect water. The other ingredient we need is mute fruit. And if you go up to Mama Dolce's at Morgantown, there is lots of mute fruit growing in this area. Don't forget to put your green thumb card on. And you will find in this area There's lots of meat for it.
can of course if you want to grow it in your camp just pick them and plant them nuku is a plant you can grow at your camp to be honest i don't see why you can't grow anything you can pick i would love to do a flower garden <laughs> um there used to be a mod in fallout 4 that would let you do that See how many we've got. got Thirty two nuke crate. That should be enough, I think. Thirty four. <coughs> right. I'm going to head back to the pharmacy. There was a big announcement about um, the roadmap for 2021 and they're making some changes to private servers so we have more control. All I really want to be able to do is control the weather and the time of day that I log in. <laughs> right. Let's make our great mentats. Make sure you have the cards, chemist and super duper on. As I've said before, I normally make five. If Super Duper doesn't fire within the first five, I break at five to encourage it to fire. If it does break, I go to ten. So that was really easy and it's given us 39 great mentats which should keep you going for a while. How have things been today Solomon? Quiet? I'm sorry to say, I'm actually thinking of closing the pharmacy. We're not really making much money at the moment. Unfortunately, although Dr. Forager was a bit eccentric, he uh, had a lot of contacts and they're not coming anymore. You, you don't have to, yeah, okay, right. You could always go back to those Brotherhood of Steel people you like. Or I could just leave you here and maybe charge you rent. Maybe not. Okay, well, as I said at the beginning, this is probably going to be the last Nora's Pharmacy. I do have some plans for Nora in the future, so you will be seeing her again. I hope this video was useful. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.